Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we have processed JSON model to send the data to controller for the setting page configuration. Now in this video, we have changed some settings regarding the architecture. In the previous tutorial, you have viewed that I have created several form data and several X H R requests to upload the images to the server. Now what we have done on the change image, like when I will change this image, it will directly upload it to the server like this. If I am selecting this, it is directly uploaded and the path is attached here. So this path is of the server. It is directly uploaded on the change. Here you can see it is directly uploaded to the server. And now all the images are directly uploaded to the server on change request. So it will reduce our line of code and reduce the hectic process of uh, creating dynamic data and then uploading to the server. So now when you will select image, it is directly uploaded to the server. And now we will place data page titles, page description, email at gmail.com and count double four. Now start debugging here and save process. Okay and when we will click here we have to send ajax request so here is the save button but we don't have the ajax request for that we need to copy this from here simply just copy and paste here and in settings it will get uploaded with a fully functional data refresh the best part of this on change is that whenever you will select the image if there is existing image then that will be updated automatically and add the information save and let's see in the model what is the information we are getting so we are getting all the information right now like this okay uh, but we are not getting the backend logo image okay uh, maybe it is because of the uh, wrong id uh, let's see what is the model we are creating right now by simply copy and pasting this here and now so here is is it okay uh, what we need to do here we have backend logo content and backend logo image which is this okay it is not getting that image so let's see So here is the right address. Yes, we have E is in small caps. Okay, so now just replace this and we are done. So in this video, we have successfully processed uh, the JSON and uploaded the image successfully. Now in the next tutorial, uh, we need to save this information within the database table. I hope this is informative and efficient. If you have any kind of question, you can ask us. We will highly appreciate your input regarding the performance and architecture take care bye bye have fun